This is Kyle. Kyle has collected a series of questions from various people, some known and others unknown. These questions were things people wanted to know about Kyle without knowing much about him, other than him being a white male in his early 20s, just as he is before you. These questions were asked to be whatever people desired to know. They were asked not to censor or hold back in any way. Kyle has answered these questions and created this recording. This video will document Kyle's honest responses as he listens to his answers being played along with you. Let us begin. First question. What is the date today? Answer. The date as of this recording is the 19th of October, 2016. Next question. Do you have a girlfriend? Answer. No, I do not. Next question. Do you have a boyfriend? Answer. No, I do not. Next question. Do you have an anger issue? Answer. I don't think so. I do get mad occasionally, but it is not a reoccurring issue in any way. Next question. Do you think you are a cool guy? Answer. I don't think I am. I want to be, but I'm definitely not the coolest guy. Next question. Do you sleep talk? Answer. That's a good question. I've been told I do sometimes, but I guess I'll never really know for myself, will I? Next question. Have you been to another country and where? If not, where would you like to go? Answer. I have never left this country. I want to- I just haven't had the time. I don't know where I want to go though. I would say somewhere in the Middle East. Iraq perhaps. I know that sounds like a terrible, stupid, awful thing to say, but I would like to go. It would be a thrilling adventure. Next question. What is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Answer. Taco Bell. Next question. When was your first kiss? Answer. My first kiss was the summer before 8th grade. It was at a summer theater camp with a girl named Alyssa. Next question. How do you feel about those international students in your art classes? Answer. The ones I have interacted with have been very nice and caring and interesting. I think international students tend to care more than domestic students actually. A lot of students are trapped in their own spaces and don't let anyone in. I feel like a lot of the international students want to make the most of being in a different country, so they are much more friendly and open to others. I think that's great. Next question. Do you think you are a successful artist? Answer. Yes and no. I am very picky and I demand perfection. If I make something I am not happy with I will not display it. I think what I'll let get shown is usually interesting and successful though. I find that I tend to let the work influence my idea rather than the idea influence my work. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I'd like to do the opposite instead. Next question. Who was your first love? Answer. My first love was a girl from middle school. We dated a few months and then again in high school. We are still good friends today. Next question. If you could kill one person, who would it be? Answer. I would kill Hillary. Sorry, she's just done so much wrong. She makes me nervous about the future of this country if elected. Next question. Chuck. Fuck. Barry. Bill Cosby. Hillary Clinton. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Answer. This one took a lot of thinking. Marry Bill. Kill Hill. Fuck Clifford. I figure I can take Bill's money and he'll die soon anyway. Hillary obviously to die, as I just mentioned. And Clifford is so big he won't even feel it. So we'll still be buddies afterwards. Next question. What is your biggest regret? Answer. Letting the person I love most slip away from me. Next question. Do you have any irrational fears? Answer. Not really. I mean, I'm scared of snakes. Not like, I see a drawing or picture and freak out. But if I see one in person I flip out. They're so quick and unpredictable and deadly. I hate them. But I think that being scared of living death slinkies is very rational. Next question. When did you lose your virginity? Answer. I lost it my freshman semester of college in 2014. I was the lead role in a play where I had to strip down on stage. So the cast party afterwards got me a lot of attention. Next question. What is the most rewarding experience about getting a college degree? Answer. I'll tell you once I have one. Haha. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think that having a college degree is the new high school diploma. No job takes you seriously unless you have one. So being able to actually be recognized as good. Is it worth the four years of disciplined hell? Not so much. Next question. How does your white privilege affect your flute playing skills? Answer. I get this one a lot. I think it hurts me honestly. Being a privileged white male, I tend to have a cocky attitude as I am at the top of the chain. I am the perfect combination of sex and race. Who could beat a white male? I guess this shows in my flute playing, as I don't put as much effort in as I really should. Next question. 
If you were to go skydiving, what would you yell as you jumped? Answer. I would probably just yell weird sounds, not words. Maybe nothing at all. I tend to get quiet in moments of high intensity if no one is around me. Final question. If you change genders, what would your name be and how would you present yourself to the world? Answer. Kylie I guess. I don't know. I'm very on the fence about the whole gender thing. I'm all for people expressing who they are. But I feel some of it has gotten ridiculous. I would probably present myself the same way as I am now because gender isn't going to change who I am as a person. So why would I change my presentation? All submitted questions have been answered. Documentation complete. How well do you know Kyle now?